Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, on the Danganronpa 1-2 Reload Collection. Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Oh, righty, I shall announce it to everyone right now! While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart throbbing school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. Truly this lovey dovey heart throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. What what the hell does that even mean? Wait, no, what does that even mean? Um now then. Let the heart throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt. All right, wow. What an opening. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save. Let's continue. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. Uh, hey. Are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. Th there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sandy beach. Crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dungan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the left stick, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the X button. You can then examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the right stick. Plus, if you press the triangle button, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. <laughs> now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story. Alright, let's have a look around. Let's look at this camera. Hmm, is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Let's look at the ocean. The crystal clear shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Alright, what about this monitor that's hanging up a tree? <laughs> Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Uh, a coconut tree? 
And I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine, fine palm tree, but now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Alright. Nagito Komaeda. The ultimate lucky student. Huh? That's weird. Uh, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope's Peak Academy chose me. <sighs> well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. Through a country-wide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend Hope's Peak, Academy's, uh, Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery, is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks... troubled. Oh, no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> No, it's fine, I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Remember that for later, viewers. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm, Nagito Komaeda, huh? Something about that name seems very interesting to me. He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hmm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I, 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 I open my mouth, mouth, but the words would not form. <laughs> I open my mouth, but the words won't come out. <laughs> um, I felt my thoughts stalling in my head, as if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, uh huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort, discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember soon enough, soon once you've settled down. So, I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. Y you're right. Yep. Th then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Obtained Hope Fragment. Hey, did something just beep? W what a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside my pocket. Instead of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. But why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kinda remember, but... What is this? It's an e-handbook! 
what what the where'd you come from i'm sorry oh did i startle you i'm terribly sorry <laughs> tee i know how to apologize like a good girl um anyway don't you think it's cool that handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip so make sure you don't lose it but this device is that important I I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. <laughs> hey, she, she's gone. Stuffed animal that moves and talks, sorry, moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That That's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe, maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So, now he's decided to come with me? Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's a tropical climate. Or is it that, what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with a square button. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the touchpad button. That's all there is about the, that's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Oh right, you can exit the beach with the circle button. All right, cool. So let's have a look at that handbook because I haven't actually increased the volume just yet. I'm going to do, let's see, I'm gonna go to option. I'm gonna do just one, just because it, it's really loud in my ear. So I feel like the better option would be to increase it on my um, capture thing, but I don't want to do that while I'm recording just in case it screws up, like in case it gets like crazy out of control. I think it'll be fine. Like I'm even looking at my, my blue yeti mic and it's like um it is peaking a lot but then when i checked the first episode it was fine so i don't know it's really strange it even like just highlights completely in red when i speak even slightly too loud like now it's highlighting in red but it seems to be fine so it's really weird all right uh, let's exit i'll have a look at the uh, handbook in just a sec so press hey. circle to exit uh about exploring the island <laughs> It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Uh, you don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then was I also... Hmm. hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. You probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. 
I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake, I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making our, making your introductions? Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island, on this island. Then... Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. It is super convenient, however, we pretty much don't want to do that all the time. We want to do a little bit of um, manual travel, as we're going to find here. Uh, travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run by holding the circle button while you move. If you press the left and right directional buttons, you can also instantly move to the next area. That one's an, uh, an important thing that's like missed often. That means the D-pad. So if you press left and right on the D-pad, um, you'll see what happens here in a moment. Uh, you can travel from uh, a spot that you can enter to the next spot that you can enter. When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the X button. You've probably realized it by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take. So try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. All right, so here is our main uh, protagonist, our, well, our main protagonist, our protagonist, uh, Hajime Hinata, and you can walk like this. And if you hold circle button, you can run. Uh, and if you press the left button, right button, there you go. You move from place to place. So it moves very quick because like I can go all the way to this is the airport. That's the next section. You can go here. Now, um, what we want to do is we actually want to look uh, at our pet here. You will be able to raise your own adorable e-pet. So the pet is essentially a, um, it's like a Digimon or a Tamagotchi. It works on um, steps. So as you can see, it's just an egg right now, it has its own little house. Um, we need to walk a total of 100 steps for it to um, hatch. We've already walked seven, um, so we need to walk 93. Uh, you'll also see that it has a hope meter and a despair meter. This is very important. Like the pet is actually quite important because it's very useful. Um, I'll explain what it does more later. But for now, the other, only other thing you need to know is that when you take a step, um, if you walk like this, you're actually taking more steps more quickly with Hajime. Uh, if you run, you're actually taking less. I can't really demonstrate it 100%, but I would say that we're on... 77 okay 68 so even more so like watch this like actually let's measure it so this is one corner of the bridge right i'm gonna walk from that spot to this spot let's see how many we got now okay it was a little under 68 so let's just say a little under 68 so let's say we started at i don't know like 62 and we went down to 34, so that's 28 steps that we took, right? Now, if I go back, that's uh, one, like one or two steps less. So 28, and we only went eight steps there, right? So you actually walk a lot more, or you take a lot more steps by walking. So basically, you want to walk everywhere. The other thing to take note of is our level in the top right-hand corner. We're gaining experience as we walk. Um, so we basically want to walk everywhere. We're going to skip that bridge for now. Um, we've got a little indication here and our egg hatched into this little baby and the baby has is, is called chibi me which i guess is like chibi means small and i don't know maybe me means like baby or something some other it has some kind of like relevance we've also now obtained the presents uh option we don't have any presents there are 140 in total um and you can collect i actually can't remember how many i'll check uh, after i finish recording you can collect a certain amount from within the game or within the main game and then the others are you can also collect them from the main game but they they're like prizes that you get for completion and stuff like that um so what we want to do is we're going to walk over here we're pretty much out of time anyway but we're going to walk over here to the left and we're going to enter the ranch and we'll be able to meet our very first character let's stop right here how many steps did we take so we already took another 34 steps now the other thing you have to worry about is the pets are going to poop and when they poop because you, you can see the toilet there you can press square to clean up that poop but we actually want to sort of be very careful with this um because it's uh the way that the pet works is 
based on how much hope and despair you have or how little you have of either, that determines what kind of pet you're going to get. And we need to get all the different pets. There are about six or eight. I can't remember exactly. Um, and there are specific pets that we want to go for first because uh, it's much easier to go for them first and then the other ones we can go for later on. Um, all right. So I think I'll leave that there for now. Um, we'll look at the different... Uh, I think the only one, the regulations is just... It's pretty simple. It just tells you, you know, what the rules are for the, the island. That'll change later. And the report card, you can see all the different characters uh, on the screen there. And you can see Nagato, we have a, a hope fragment for him. So we'll, we'll look at that more next time. But we're probably going to meet the characters first. All right, so we'll leave things there. I want to thank you all for watching episode two of Let's Plan and Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>